Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on adding an opt-in box to your WordPress site. What is an opt-in box? An opt-in box, or opt-in form, is a form you can add to your website that will allow you to collect email addresses, which you can then use to market to people. Here's an example of how an opt-in box will look. You've probably seen these on websites before. In many cases, you'll see an opt-in form on a website inviting people to enter their name and email address, and sometimes other information. In order to subscribe to a newsletter or download a special freebie, like an ebook, article, or report. When someone enters their information into an opt in box, it gets stored in the database by your email service provider so that you can build up a list of leads and send them email promotions, newsletters, etc. Creating your opt in form. In order to create an opt in form, you first need to start an account with an email service provider. You can choose from either Aweber at www.aweber.com forward slash question mark 36. 8615 or get response at www.getresponse.com forward slash index forward slash brain host. In this tutorial, we will walk you through creating an opt in box using Aweber. If you choose to use Get Response, the process will be similar. For additional help using Get Response, you can visit their learning center at www.getresponse.com forward slash learning dash center. To create an opt in form in Aweber, First, log in right here. Now once you're logged in, go ahead and click on Web Forms tab, which is right here. Now let's go ahead and click on Create a New Web Form, which you can find right here. Now on this page, you'll see a preview of what your opt-in box will look like, right here. Now as you can see, the default opt-in box requires website visitors to enter their name and email address. You can add additional fields that visitors need to fill out using the menu on the left-hand side right here. To add one of the predefined fields, like website underscore title, go ahead and hit plus sign next to the field that you want to add. Now for example, to add a field where your visitors need to enter their website URL, click on the plus side next to the website underscore URL, which you'll find right here. Now you can see the website URL field will then be added to your form, and a box will open up with the options for that field, which you'll see right here. Click Save in the Options box once you've set up the field the way you want it. And that will then be added to your opt-in form, which you see right there. Now you can add as many fields as you want, but keep in mind that you shouldn't add a field just for the sake of adding it. The more things you ask a visitor to fill out, the less likely they will be to opt into your website. You should only require someone to enter information that you actually need. For example, if you are only planning to market to someone via email, there is no need to have them enter their physical address or phone number. If, on the other hand, you are going to send out physical flyers through the mail, you want to add in the address field. Now once you have your opt-in box the way you want it, click on Save Web Form. Now when that's done saving, go ahead and click on Go to Step 2. Now on this page, you can create a name for your opt-in box and decide what format you want the Thank You page and the Already Subscribed page to use. The Thank You page is where your visitor will be directed after they opt in. And the already subscribed page is where they will be directed if they already opted in and try to do so again. Now when you're ready, click on the save web form. When it's done saving, click on go to step three. Now if you don't save it, you'll be prompted to before you can move on to the step three. Now on this page, you're gonna wanna click on I will install my form right here. Now when you do that, you're gonna go ahead and see this page right here. You need to highlight the code by clicking and dragging on it, and then right click and select copy. Installing your form on your site. Once you've copied that bit of code, you're ready to install your opt-in form on your website. Log into your WordPress backend by adding forward slash WP dash admin to the end of your URL. For example, if your URL is www.mysite.com, you would get to your WordPress backend by going to www.mysite.com forward slash WP dash admin. You can then log in with your username and your password. For more help with logging into your WordPress backend, visit www.brainhost.com forward slash help forward slash WordPress dash questions forward slash WordPress login. Now once you've logged in, you'll see something similar to this. If not, just go ahead and click on dashboard right here. Now what we're interested in is the email opt-in form box, which is right here. Now on this box, you're gonna paste the code that you copy from Aweber or get response if you use them instead. You can just right click and press paste. 
and that'll paste that code in there. Now once you're done, go ahead and scroll down here and click Save Changes. And now you can visit your website and you can see your opt-in box right there. When someone opts in using your opt-in box, their information will be saved by your email service provider. You can log into your email service provider account to view your list of opt-ins and send them emails. If you need help managing your opt-in list or sending them emails, contact your email service provider as each provider is slightly different. Now note, in this tutorial we used AWeber as an example of an email service provider and went through the process for how to create an opt-in box using AWeber. The process for creating an opt-in box will be slightly different for GetResponse. But in the end, you should always get a code to put in your website. Once you have that code, the process for getting the code on your website will always be the same as what is described in this tutorial. And the installing your form on your site section. For specific instructions on how to create an opt-in box with email service providers other than AWeber, you will need to contact that email service provider. Now just in case you missed that AWeber link or that Get Response link, we're going to put them on the screen here for you. The top one is the AWeber link and the bottom one is the GetResponse link.